There are so many different menstrual cups on the market these days, and each one is unique. And just like the cup itself, each one has a different stem. So I'm going to go over the stems today, the seals, and how to trim them. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great week. This is a requested uh, video by Zay. I hope I'm saying your name right, Zay VM. Uh, thank you for sending in your request. I know you just asked for a uh, kind of a tutorial on how to trim the stem on the menstrual cup, but I'm going to give you a little bit more, uh, just some details about you know the different kinds of stems that are out there or the lack of a stem, and also the seal. And the seal that I'm talking about is where the stem and the base of the cup actually meet. Uh, so there's a piece of silicone that is in there sometimes that um, will allow you to trim a little bit more um, than just the stem itself. Or if they don't really have one of those seals, then you want to make sure that you don't puncture through into the bowl of the cup. So I'm going to kind of point those things out and um, let's get started. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything interesting or helpful in this video, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So the category of stems that we have are normally like a stick, a tab, a ring, or a ball and some have no stem at all. Stick style stems can uh, be rounded or flat. Tab style stems are usually flat and they can come in a shape like a leaf or they can be squared off. While there are not many ring style stems, there are some that are smaller or larger. The ball style stem usually doesn't have a long piece, it just has a ball right at the base of the cup or a short uh, area and then uh, the ball. And the last one would be a cup with no stem at all. Uh, this is a Maluna cup and I did not remove the stem on this cup, it does come this way. Uh, I believe the cup Lee also comes in a version with no stem and I really can't think of any others right now off the top of my head. Some of the stems are really nice and stretchy and some might hardly move at all. You can find stems with very prominent grip rings, with grip dots, and even with no grip rings at all. These cheap cups are picked up quite often because people think they're really cute. Um, I believe they also have a star, but I have a heart and a moon here. And if you think about it, it's not really practical. If you have a high cervix, you might be able to use them without having these irritate you. But if you have a medium to low cervix, you'll probably have to cut these off anyhow. Most of the menstrual cups, you can trim the stem off if you need to. However, there are a few cups that you cannot trim the stem. Those are the ones that have that funnel stem where there's a ball in it and you can uh, release the ball for the blood to flow through the stem and into the toilet without removing your menstrual cup. The only cup that I have that's like that is the Iwo cup and I did do a video quite a while ago um, I did a demonstration using egg white and egg yolk to pass through uh, the stem and the valve. So this one doesn't have a ball in it, it just has a valve. So you pinch down right at the base or the very bottom of this stem. The other cup that I have that you cannot cut the stem off of is the Amy Cup Original. And if you don't know anything about this cup, I'll go ahead and leave a picture here for you. Uh, but this cup has an applicator and the inside of this cup is completely hollow. So that's the area that would catch your flow. So this long area here cannot be cut off because that is part of the cup. Next, I will go over the seal of the cup. And again, that is the area that the stem of the cup and the base or the bowl of the cup meet together or join together. And that area is right here. So if I insert my finger into this cup, you can see that my finger is stopping right there. It meets. 
a piece of silicone and can't go any further. I would consider this a shallow seal. On this cup, it has a high seal. So if I insert my finger, you can see that my finger stops right at this grip ring. You can cut the stem and even a little bit more or shave it down with a file if you need to take off just a millimeter or two to make this cup comfortable for you. I know a millimeter or two doesn't seem like a whole bunch, but it can make a world of difference in comfort for some people. If you're planning on trimming the stem of your menstrual cup, I would suggest trying the cup with the stem fully intact first. You might find that you do need the stem. When I'm testing a menstrual cup, a lot of times I don't like to cut the stem off. What I do is I tuck it and try to place it behind my pubic bone just to hold it in place to see if I like the feeling of the cup. That way, if I need the stem, I could wiggle my finger to get the stem to drop out and be able to remove the cup easier. I also tell people to leave the stem intact because if they don't like their menstrual cup and they're planning on de-stashing it, the next person, uh, if you're not opposed to using uh, used menstrual cups, would probably like to have the stem intact when they receive it. When you're finally set on trimming your menstrual cup stem, I would do it in increments. Don't cut the complete stem off. You might find that you really did need at least one little grip ring to hold onto to remove that menstrual cup. I would suggest only trimming to the first grip ring and then try your menstrual cup again. If you find that it feels too long still, you can trim to the second grip ring and try it again. Continue to do this until you find your desired length or it feels comfortable for you. To do the actual trimming, I would suggest using a cuticle cutters or a wide mouth nail cutters. You can also use a regular pair of scissors. Whichever one you choose to use, make sure they are nice and sharp. If you're anything like me, all the scissors that I have in the house are pretty dull uh, besides my cutting shears for fabric, so uh, I don't normally use my scissors anymore to trim my stems. Here's a stem that I cut with a pair of scissors that were too dull. It was sharp enough to cut through the silicone, but it kind of pushed the stem to the side, leaving this lopsided diagonal cut. So I'll go ahead and cut just the tip of my stem with my cuticle cutters, which I should use on my cuticles. Um, so I'll go ahead and just trim to that first grip ring and cut it right off. I'll cut to the second grip ring with my nail cutters. And I'll cut to the third grip ring with my crappy pair of scissors. You can use a nail file to file down some of the little bits that were left behind or any harder edges. And it might take a little bit to get it started because the silicone does like to move underneath the nail file, but just Try to hold it uh, sturdy and go ahead and file those away. This um, cheapy cup also has a, a seal that comes a little bit um, higher than this first grip ring at the base of the cup. And I'm going to go ahead and cut into that seal area to show you that you can take off a little bit more. If it has that seal, you can take off a little bit more than um, just the stem. And I am using my nail, uh, my cuticle cutter. I should have used my crappy scissors, but I'll go ahead and finish this since I started it. There we go. So here is uh, that 
end piece of stem with some of the seal of the cup. And let me go ahead and file that down. I'll be right back. Here is the finished cup after I cut the stem and also part of the seal and then just filed that area down, smoothed out some of the edges and rounded it off a bit. So those are some things on a stem that you can think about if you're looking for something specifically. Do you want a stem that's short or long, one that stretches really well or one that's a little bit more sturdy and solid? One that has a solid piece of silicone or one that's hollow so that it's easier to cut? Or maybe you prefer no stem at all? If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also leave me a comment down below if you cut your stem off and then found out later that you actually needed it. Until I see you next time, take care.